need to chain up your goddamn animals. Make sure he wasn't gonna fucking dart in front of me. Those fucking people never have that dog chained up. It's ran in front of my car, it's ran in front of my bike before. Someday it's gonna run in front of the wrong person and they're gonna end up with a fucking lawsuit. Because they're still within the, the city limits or the village limits. And in the village you have to have your animals chained up. That's what the leash law is. I mean, that, that's why they have that law, is so fucking animals aren't just running freely all over the goddamn place and getting hit by cars and shit. But people are so fucking ignorant that they obviously don't value the life of their pet enough to, you know, keep it uh, restrained. November 19th and it's about 66 or 67 degrees outside right now. This is fantastic. I mean, it's going to get dark in like 20 minutes, but it was raining all morning and all last night and it didn't start drying up until maybe like an hour and a half ago is when the roads were actually dry enough to ride on. I just don't, it's not that I'm afraid to ride when it's wet out, I just would rather not if I don't have to. That was not even a stop. <laughs> that was a roll through. See so those clouds over there are the, uh, that's the storm that was here earlier. It's kind of moving, um, I don't even know what direction that is, west? No. No, it's moving northeast. On the phone. I fucking saw that from like uh, 30 feet away. When you ride a motorcycle for a long time, you, uh, you don't even have to look for people on their phone anymore. You, you just, you become accustomed to, it's almost like your eyes develop facial recognition and when you don't see the white of someone's eyes or their pupils, because they're a fucking, their face is tilted forward, it, uh, you pick up on it real quick. Watch me dip like really close to people's vehicles. I'm doing it on purpose to emphasize the point that they shouldn't have parked where they parked. Pretty much this whole fucking street, you're not supposed to park on the right side because there's no no parking signs on the left. So if everybody just parks wherever the fuck they want to on the left or right, there would literally not be enough space for a a wider vehicle to get down this road. If that makes any sense. Son of a bitch, I'm gonna miss this shit in the winter. What the fuck are you doing? Seriously? Idiot. On the wrong side of the road, in the middle of the fucking lane. You're not even like attempting to pull over to the side. Who the hell is 
that? It looks familiar. People are so shitty, like... I always wave to random ass people and nobody ever fucking waves back. It's like... You know, be a fucking human being. All there is to it. Don't be a douchebag. Don't be a dwash bag. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> stupid word I just made up, but it's so funny. So I kind of wanted to get everyone's opinion on this whole um, refugee business. Um, as you know, I mean, unless you live under a fucking rock, um, you know, if you watch the news and you see what just happened in Paris, you would think that right after an event like that where you got these uh, Islamic extremists that are blending in with the Syrian rebels and shit, or not rebels, but refugees, you would think that um, the last thing that you would want to do is just start inviting them to your country. Well, in the US, that's apparently not how we do things. When somebody else gets attacked, apparently we go to those people that cause the terror and we invite them into our fucking uh in our country you know like literally days after the attacks in paris obama said that he wanted to bring like 10,000 fucking refugees here it's like why would you why would you announce something like that immediately following a terror act unless you're completely fucking stupid i mean come on Most people don't want the fucking refugees here. There's certain states that have already said we will not accept refugees. And, you know, I hate to sound like I'm fucking prejudiced or racist or anything, but people of the Islamic faith, they do not have good intentions for anyone that is not Islamic. It is in their holy doctrine. The Quran has passage after passage after passage about beheading the non-believers and killing and torturing and maiming and raping the non-believer this, the non-believer that. I mean, it's one thing if you're part of an organization, let's say you work for Walmart and the CEO of Walmart is caught like embezzling money or molesting children or something. Now, just because you work for Walmart does not mean that you're guilty of those things because those are not the values of Walmart. Um, the values of Walmart, as we all know, is selling you garbage merchandise. <laughs> but seriously, it would be one thing if um, a written value set did not define that kind of behavior as acceptable or promoted. The Quran, which is the fucking cornerstone of Islam, you know, that's like their rule book. Their rule book says to fucking kill and torture people that don't believe in Allah. And you can't fucking tell me that Muslims, even the ones that are in the states and that are peaceful and don't cause trouble, you can't tell me that shit's not in the back of their mind and if there was an invasion, they wouldn't immediately side with their own. That's fucking asinine to assume that. Which, I mean, if they want to stay over in the fucking sand dunes and fucking murder each other, that's fine. Let them fucking kill each other. But to invite them into our home two fucking days, three days after, you know, they attacked Paris in the name of Allah. I mean, it's, it's proven that they're part of ISIS and that they got into France with the rest of the fucking refugees. And then you have the, the GOP is trying to 
it's like it's almost like they tried to compromise and say okay look we'll accept the refugees but only on the stipulation that they go through a thorough screening process to make sure that they're not criminals or terrorists or extremists or whatever and Obama's like no nope, you're just trying to slow down the process that's so fucking stupid how can no one see how fucking stupid that is I mean Fucking common sense and liberalism are light years apart from each other. It's like every time there's a shooting and it's in a, a gun-free zone, the first thing they want to do is ban more guns. You know? That thing that just happened in um, Oregon. I mean, there was a guy within 200 yards that went right up to the school staff and told them, I'm a concealed carrier, I have a weapon, I would like to go in and try to help. And they fucking denied him access, and then all these fucking people got slaughtered. It's, it blows my fucking mind that people are that stupid. What the hell do I know, right? I'm just a fucking guy in a motorcycle. <laughs>